Neophenetia falcata is an epiphytic orchid native to southeast China, South Korea, and the southern half of Japan, where it is known as fudon, meaning wind orchid. Select varieties have been collected within Japan for at least the last three centuries and are known as fukidan. In this video, we'll visit a fukidan show at a local nursery specializing in native Japanese orchids, Ogawa Garden. Most wild forms, such as this clump, are white flowered and have simple fan shaped growths typical of monopodial orchids. Fukidon have unusual traits that differ in a variety of ways, leaf shape and size, for example. Some are short and rounded, commonly called the bean leaf types, while others possess thin pointed leaves, the pine needle types. Plants can also be very short or tall, as demonstrated by this impressive specimen. Others still have variegated foliage, which can be consistent or variable depending upon the form. In more recent years, interest has strongly shifted towards flower color and shape. In nature, pink to purple flowers are most common, while green and yellow are more rare. Odd flowered forms, like this Hanamatoi, can be either beautiful or bizarre. So without further ado, let's look at the great variety of plants at this show. First up is the bean leaf variety Kabutomaru. This compact form has both stout, chunky leaves and flowers. Like many bean leaves, it readily forms large clumps. A very similar plant is the famous bean leaf variety Tamakongo. Some bean leaves, such as Otakumaru, have normal type flowers. Kinkujaku, whose name means golden peacock, is a bean leaf with normal flowers and golden suffused foliage. A truly iconic Fukidan is Seikai, a form that has been registered for over 100 years. This plant is unique in many ways. Its foliage is the bean leaf type and grows in graceful arcs. The light mauve flowers are large in size upward facing and have broad curved flower segments. Though it can't set seed, its pollen is viable and has been used in many outcrossings. Without a doubt, Seikai is a must-have for any serious Fukidan collector. A form with a similar flower is Unkai, but as this glorious specimen suggests, it is a more vigorous plant than Seikai. It also is larger, with long arching leaves called princess leaf in Japan. The flowers tend to be more plentiful and are a bit paler in color as well. The variety Nan Goku no Mai has truly bizarre double flowers. They are so misshaped that they are nearly sterile, but surely some viable pollen must be produced occasionally to continue this odd breeding line. Tenyo no Mai, meaning fairy dance, has similar flowers except they are more compact and greener in color. Both are relatively new varieties. Yama Fubuki has large white double flowers with long hook spurs, and perhaps the most notable feature of the odd little Beni Hicho is its long spur. By contrast, the lovely Kinboshi boasts spurless, star-shaped flowers and golden, suffused foliage. Tenshin's spur sticks out directly from the front of the flower, looking much like the proboscis of a moth. A nearly identical-looking form is Tensho, the difference being a slight pink blush to the petals. Both are good clump-forming plants, as this fine specimen demonstrates. Another beautiful form is Kutsuwamushi, with its upward-facing pink flowers and elegant hook spurs. Probably one of the most fascinating flower forms is the recently registered Hanamatoi. This three-spurred flower form remains rare and expensive to this day, 
despite being registered back in 2006. Part of the problem is that it is rather weak growing and so its propagation is very slow. Another highly coveted three-spurred flower form is Oiran, a close cousin to Hanakanzashi. This plant has become rather common in the trade since it can be propagated by seed. The one catch is that the three-spurred characteristic isn't always stable so that sometimes flowers with only one spur are produced on the same plant. Light purple flushing is a fairly common flower trait in wild fudon, but truly purple flowered plants are rare and are called akaban. This incredible plant is a fine example of an unnamed purple flowered fudon. Many akabana varieties have been named, famously Shutano and Shoujo. These are not the result of hybridization with other genera, though such hybrids do also exist. The first green flowered form to be registered as a fukidan is the lovely hisui, which appropriately means jade. Propagation by seed has greatly increased the availability of green flowered plants, but not all have the rich color of this form. The lovely yellow to orange flowered plants fall under the general name kibana fura. Despite their great beauty, all are intergeneric hybrids, most likely with ascocentrum. This includes name varieties like Yubai and Ogonden. Variegated leaf forms are highly valued as well and Gojo Fukuren is a standard. Marginal variegation of the leaf is known as Fukuren and many Fukidan have this as part of their moniker. Flowers of these forms tend to be of the typical white kind. One of my favorite Fukuden forms is Tenkei Fukuden, and this huge plant is an exceptional example. The top-ranked Fukidan is Fukiden, famous for its perfect foliage and ultra-slow growth. Orihime exhibits many patterns of leaf variegation. Separate growths can have typical Fukuden variegation, streaked patterns, or almost lack any green at all. A Fukuren form that can change patterns often, creating potential new forms, is Nishide Miyako. The pattern within a single fan remains mostly constant, but the new pups could be completely different, as in this newly forming one. The variegation pattern has reversed in this growth, creating the form known as Manazuru. Though lovely, when separated from the mother plant, such forms are generally weak growers and often go into decline. A stable dwarf form derived from Nishide Miyako is the highly prized Tama Nishiki. This specimen has the Manazuru leaf pattern, however plants with marginal variegation are more typical. Akebono has very light speckled variegation along the leaf midrib. Dain no Hikari is a form that exhibits extreme variability in variegation patterns, with each growth producing a completely different result. Growths range from pure green to pure bright yellow and anything in between. A popular form created in Korea is Hokage. Its leaves have irregular blotched variegation known as tiger leaf. The color ranges from purple to green to yellow and even white. The root tips as well are beautifully colored, the so-called ruby root type. Another ruby root type is Kankiten, a plant selected from seedlings grown from a mommy fudan stock. The leaves flush pure white and mature green. This fairly new type remains quite expensive. That price tag reads the equivalent of $1,800 US. Kingin Rasha has flowers that open pure white and fade to gold without losing their shape, hence part of the plant's name, Kin and Gin, meaning silver and gold respectively. These flowers are all newly opened. The plant's leaves as well are unique in that they have a rough texture like felt, thus finishing out the name with Rasha, meaning felt or woolen cloth. The curious Ozanomai has long flower segments that are completely curled up on themselves. Many name plants are only locally known and often are not registered, such as this Akabana form with purple suffused foliage. Likewise, unnamed plants abound, such as this wonderful large flowered form with stunning hime leaves, hailing from Miyazaki Prefecture in Kyushu. 
Special pots specifically made to display plants at shows are known as Fukidan Nishibachi, and though all are hand-painted, their quality varies greatly. Some Nishibachi reach the level of true art. This pot was made by the famous master Fusei-san, a man known for his great painting ability. The pot on the left is a creation of Tenzan-san, showing the classic delicate lace pattern common to his work. The variety of forms Neophonetia falcata can assume is astounding, but realize this video has only shown a sampling of that diversity. It is a world that beckons the novice grower, eventually leading to a state resembling obsession. So please enter that world with care.